All right, welcome everybody to my brand new channel, my only channel. Uh, this is gonna be my first playthrough. I've decided to do the new, newly released alpha game, Cube World. Uh, I do have an intro video up, or I should be. I actually haven't even recorded the intro video uh, at the time of me saying this, but hopefully it'll be up before this goes up. So I want to thank you guys all so much for checking this out. I know it's a little weird checking out new, not popular channels, but thank you very much for watching this. Alright, so, for those of you who don't know, Cube World is a very early alpha, and what it is is a adventure RPG open world combat game, I guess is what I would describe it at, as. Uh, it's art style... And its world generation is voxel-based, so what that means is, as you can see in the background, everything's made out of cubes. So, some people might be saying, oh, this is just like Minecraft. Not really. Minecraft is very much focused on building and surviving and stuff like that. This is an RPG game. And in this first video, uh, I'll go through the intro, I'll go through the character creation. I don't like to spend too much on character creation because I just want to get in the game and play, to be honest with you. Um, so, let's get started. Hopefully the second and third video will just, you know, be exploring, and after that I'll stop the grind, and I'll resume recording when some interesting things happen, like raids or stuff like that. So, create a new character. Uh, other than some videos that I have watched, I have not played this game at all, so I do not know a whole lot about this. Alright, let's check out the races. Humans, meh. Elves, typical. Got the dwarves all. <laughs> He's like a shorter, red-nosed Santa Claus. Chinese. Oh, he's so goofy. I might have to be him. Got orcs, nice. It's a good addition. Uh, goblins, wow. That's so cool. Orcs and goblins. Goblins are like never in games. A Liz oh. <laughs> We get a miniature Godzilla. That's awesome. An undead. Oh, a nice skeleton. Yeah. Kinda looks like he's smiling, but I wouldn't be too happy if I were dead, so I don't know about that. A frogman. Wow, this has a lot of races. That's awesome. Um, as far as I'm concerned, there's no traits that go with each race, at least not right now. Um, like I said, this game was in very early alpha. It's it's playable, from what I can see. It's just it, not everything that they have uh, is ready and in the game. So, male, female, I'm definitely going to be a male. A warrior, ranger... Um, mage, rogue, and back to warrior. <clears throat> I definitely want to do a melee-based class. Um, this is all real-time, like, combat. Like, if you guys have ever played the MMO Terra, stuff like that. It's just like that. There's no turn-based or anything like that. Um, it's all real-time. You have to dodge. There's a dodge button. Everything like that. So... I'm going between warrior and rogue. I'll go with rogue. Why not? Definitely, I don't want to be a human. Um, actually, I'll be a warrior so I can soak up some some damage. Hopefully, some of my friends will be getting this game, so I won't be playing it alone the entire time. But you never know. Get that. Okay, so it's just open or close. Definitely open. Definitely open. Ooh. Kind of like horns. Kind of. <laughs> Double mohawk. Ponytail hawk thing. I'm gonna have to go with the mohawk. I have to. And there's only one correct color for mohawks, and it's black. Or red. But mostly black. So, name him. Name him, name him, name him, name I want to name him Kermit, but 
I feel like I should save that name for when I actually play a frogman. Makes more sense. Or I could call this guy Kermit and the frog Godzilla. Yeah, I'll do that. I don't even know if I'm going to spell this right, but this is how I'm going to spell it. Kermit. Great character. Um, oh, so we have to create the world. So there's a connect to a server button. Multiplayer world. But I don't want to do that. I don't want to play by myself right now. Seed must be a number. Um, let's do 5,678. And we will name this world... Hmm... The Originator. Again, don't know if I'm spelling that right, but I don't care. So, going in, please wait. Where am I? Ooh, right. Oh! Oh, I love the sound effects. Hey, if you guys have noticed, there's no music just yet. I guess that's... I mean, that's obviously not as important as gameplay. Hopefully they'll do put some music in, because I know there's an option for music volume. Um... Let's... So, left mouse button is strong attack, right is fast attack. I'm assuming Q is the potions. Oh, we got some cows. Jumping, jumping. Now. That's weird. Oh, alright, so that's kind of like a combo attack. That's a heavy. It's got 3 XP. Um, excuse me for just a moment. I'm going to look at the controls. Okay. Climb is control. Shift, free aim, jump. What is dodge? Dodge. I don't know. Oh, dodge's mouse button three. It's a little awkward. So, it's a mouse for you. Hmm. <laughs> A barrel roll. Awesome. <clears throat> Alright, so it's obviously going to take some getting used to. I don't know if it's different for every weapon you have. Oh, a little camp. A little shrug. Oh. I'm going to have to. Okay, E to pick up. Self-explanatory. Um, go to this again. So my inventory is B. So... Skills is X. Awesome. Alright. So... So I can be a berserker or a guardian. Guardians withstand the hardest attacks and the biggest enemy crowds. They're well suited to revert damage from allies. They just jump into the fray to defeat their enemies with furious attacks. Alright, so it's pretty much tank or DPS, I'm assuming. I jump to the selective spot and smash nearby enemies. Oh. Okay. No, I think that's one of the skills that I don't have. Nice. Remember, I uh, 
I am just starting out in this game as well, so. What do we got here? Ooh. What is that? A cormlin? Cormling? Oh, Jesus. Okay. This doesn't honestly seem to be doing any damage, so I don't know what that is. Uh, it's a wolf. I'm not going that way. Oh. I got some ginseng. Let's see... R to sleep. Um, oh. Well, all right. Not sure what that. Oh, is that making the time go faster? It certainly is. All right, awesome. If I, oh, you got a little crafting menu. Ginseng soup. <coughs> all right, so that heals you. Pineapple slices heal you as well. So I can do a whole bunch of crafting. So obviously, I'm going to be the heavy plate armor, which I don't have any of. Alright. Let's go exploring. Press M, because it's usually the uh, map button. So I believe that the swords need raids, if I'm not mistaken. Then obviously I'm assuming this means a town. Um, so what I've heard is... The town names are actually randomly generated, so what that means is as soon as the world starts, or as soon as like a chunk loads, I guess is what you would say, um, it just says the town of and it just picks a random word. Um, by random I don't think it means any word in the entire world, but apparently it's just completely randomly generated, which is really cool. Um, I know for a fact that heart flowers are uh, for health potions. Excuse me for my pauses. I, like I said, first time playing it. <laughs> so, let's go over here. What do we got over here? Ooh, cotton. I know cotton is used to tame sheep. You can have an alpaca. That's awesome. I want to be a llama farmer, even though I know they're alpacas. I still want to farm them. going on? Did they just gank that poor alpaca? <sighs> That's not cool. That's not cool, bro. Alright. What is that? A radish link. <laughs> I feel like we're entering the world of Pokemon now. Obviously not using the dodge button too much, but they seem to be pretty damage resistant, so I don't think I need to. Um Alright, so this little house here. There's a corn. Can't get anything from it. <gasps> What's that? Oh, 
Oh, that's so awesome. Dude, they have like every single type of animal in here. That'd just be amazing. I wonder if we're around with like a giraffe. And ride on its head. I don't know if you can do that, but... The point in not trying. Okay... Does not automatically open, and I cannot see. There we go. So this is an inn. There's nothing special. That's unfortunate. Ooh, so that's how it heals me. And it made the time go faster, because that's what sleeping does. Makes sense. Make sure I'm still going in the right way of the town. Yep. Just collect a bunch of stuff. There's a tower here. How many different breeds of dogs are there? We got a collie, we got a terrier. Sunflower seeds. Yeah, I have massive ADD guys, like. Don't be surprised if I just bounce around. So that's so one thing's really cool is that you don't have to jump up single blocks. Ooh. Pay no attention to that. What is this? So that one just continues. I couldn't like hit anybody with the single one. I'll try again later. Nope. Alright, so Lugor. <laughs> so, is everyone here infected with Luke Garrick's disease? Makes sense. Hey, that's how it works. Anything that's big and popular in the world is just someone who was sick or something or died, unfortunately. What do we got going on? So, I have a feeling that it's just going to be a common thing. It's just not going to be anything in these things. What am I? Is there any NPCs? Not so far. Ooh. I can go into almost first person mode. There's a pig. Where are you? Wizard. Should I attack it? Whoa. Nice. So that was first beat down, I guess. <gasps> Sheep. Oh, I know that I can tame a sheep with cotton. Is it not with... Is it not with cotton capsules? Guess not. Oh, hello. Oh, I can do a wheel. Oh, that is so amazing. <laughs> I am keeping that. It's so much better than the club. That is just amazing. Uh, bit of a lag. Spike. What do we got here? Should probably find an inn and sleep. 
<laughs> Get some rest heal. Wow, that was loud. I am so sorry. Alright. She went in, maybe, possibly. Oh, hello. How did you get that there? Wow. Fine, just repeat what you're saying. Go to like a middle school tactic, this is cool. Ooh. Is an armor smith? Or just a general smith? Ooh. One silk glove. So I have 18 copper. Iron chest is 26 copper. I can buy gloves. Power of 14, I have one. How do I escape from that? Okay, press B. Whoa. So, I don't really know what to do. I'm assuming I should just go explore. What do we get here? I apologize if this is kind of boring for the first one, but fortunately that's what happens in the very beginning of the game, isn't it? What is it? How are you? Identifier. Nope. Gene 10 years. Nope. Goodbye. Right. Um. I can craft stuff. I do want to craft some food. I don't want iron mates. Oh! Requires the campfire. Damn. Darn. Damn. Sorry. Let's see if there are any beds up here. There isn't. Anything up here? Yes. So sleep in this, and then we will go find a campfire. So, there's a clock, there's a temperature gauge, and is that a humidity gauge? I don't know how that's played into here. Oh. Alright. So how do I make a gra glass? Grass glass. Oops. I keep pressing escape. I think you just walk away from everything if you want it to stop. I'm assuming. This guy's walking in slow motion. Oh, there he goes. Every time I say something, they just stop doing whatever they're doing. Alright. So. I just want... to find, like, a general store of some sorts and see if I can get making my own potions. I want to learn how to do that. I feel like that's very important. Oh, mushroom. Nice. Get some pumpkins. Oh, you can pick the pumpkins. 
Oh, the pumpkins will be mine. Oh, wow, there's a lot of pumpkin fields. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Oh, crap. Oh! Is he scaling the cliff face? Spike creature. Oh. Oh, shit. So you can run in token. Oh, I think I just got critted. Wow, this guy is tough. Interface buttons are working now. <laughs> yep, wait. Ooh. I think everything was just lagging. Strange. Alright, so I just picked up a wand, which has no use to me whatsoever. Alright, so. I think it's about time to wrap up for the first episode. I know not too much happened in the first episode, but it was just exploration, it was starting out. The next episode I will begin to get more into combat and at least try and figure out how to make potions. That is the first thing I should really be doing, just because mobs like the ones I just faced hit you a lot. So, so far, game looks good. I think the combat need a little brushing out, or a little, at least a little more explanation, because sometimes I feel, I feel like my uh, second mouse button isn't doing any damage, even though it's registering as it hits. So, I don't know. I'll have to try and figure out what's going on. Of course, I'm only level one, so you never know. Alright. So, just gonna create this real quick. Ooh, alright. Okay. So... Ooh, okay. Um... I don't... So that is the potion menu, but I don't know how to use it. Alright, well... Um, I'll try and learn some of the bases before I record the second uh, episode. Thanks you guys so much for watching. It means a lot to me. I hope you had fun. If you either like the game and want to know more about it, or if you just like me. You like my pretty face, even though you can't see my face. It's fine. Just envision it. It's cool. I don't mind. Just keep it to a minimum of like a minute. I'm just kidding about that cocky, I swear. Alright, well, thank you guys so much for checking it out, and I will see you guys next time.